Before we cook this rice, I want to tell you one more thing, okay? And it's very important, and I learned the hard way, so I want y'all to have it a little easier. <laughs> um, you need a pot that's going to have a lid that fits on there tight and snug because steam is what actually cooks your rice um, just as much as the hot water, okay? Is the steam. So we don't want it to be escaping. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna show you a pot that doesn't actually have a good lid on it. I love this little old pot of mine, I really do. Um, it's a Wolfgang Puck, Wolfgang Puck Pot. I'll get it out in a minute. And um, it has little spouts on the side that you can pour. You see how, no matter what you're doing, you can pour out of it real easily like that. And I love that. It's even got these little places for steam to escape. Do you see that? These little holes on each side. And I love that. But it doesn't close off. See? See how it lets steam escape out of those spout sides? That's what it does. So I have tried to cook rice in here. And it ends up cooked on the bottom. But the top is real crunchy. Because that steam's not rolling back down on there. It's just escaping. So just make sure you don't make rice in something like this. But like I say, I love this pot. I'm not saying anything against it. Just not for rice, okay? Long grain white rice. But I was born and raised on rice. I need some scissors to open my rice. Y'all hanging in there with me? All right, and I've got a pot that has a good lid that closes on it, like I said. And we're gonna start with two cups of water, okay? And to the two cups of water, I want to add a pinch of salt. And a pinch is what you can get between these three fingers, okay? <laughs> so I don't know what that is. I don't know. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter, okay? You could do a little tablespoon of olive oil if you want to. I love the little flavor butter puts in this rice. Yes, I do. And to the two cups of water, we add one cup of this long grain rice. Let me make sure I don't spill it. Let's see here. One cup of rice. Two to one ratio, right? And then I like to stir it just a bit. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, we're going to turn it down on very low, okay? I can't see y'all's pretty face. Hang on. We're going to turn it down on very low, and then we're going to cover it for 15, 20 minutes. All right, y'all. You see it's come to a boil. So now I'm going to turn it. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to turn it down on very low. Now we're going to leave it covered tightly, no peeking, for 15 to 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. I turned my fire off at 20 minutes and actually let it sit a few more minutes without peeking. Okay. <laughs> That's the important part. I know I keep stressing that. Y'all see all that steam? Yeah. It needed that. Yes, it did. Y'all see our rice now? Then you just go in and you fluff it up a bit. Just like this. Fluff it around. See? And that turned out just pretty as you please without rinsing all our vitamins off, right? See it? Looks good. See how it's flaking off, flaking off? Yeah. This is perfect. Now we just need something to put over this rice, don't we? I'm thinking about shrimp creole. Okay. First thing, we've got us a, a nice size pan here. I like to have it where it's kind of wide pan so it'll be more even cooking on our shrimp. I'm going to turn down about medium heat under there, guys. We're going to start with one third cup, and I'm going to use corn oil this time. Sometimes I use peanut oil. Sometimes I use vegetable oil. So it's no matter what kind of oil you use. One that doesn't have flavor is what I would suggest. Just like that. Put that over there by y'all. By y'all, yeah. And then I'm going to add to this um, one third cup of all purpose flour as well. And that's going to help us to make us a little roux. This is going to be a blonde roux. It's not going to be cooked very 
deep golden or chocolate brown like I do my gumbo. It's just going to be a little blonde roux. So that won't take us any time at all, will it? Sure will not. I like to just whisk it around, get it all incorporated together. And all we're basically doing is cooking that raw taste of the flour off. That's all we're doing. <laughs> John has come in and caught us a cooking. Yes, he has. Yeah. I'm mm. making a roux to start shrimp creole. Mm -hmm. How are you? How you doing? I asked you first. I'm great. <laughs> I'm going to be better. You fix to be better? I'm fixing to be better. I've already got our rice done, so all I've got to do is stick our shrimp in here here in just a few minutes. And we will eat. <laughs> y'all see this? It's just a blonde, blonde roux. Let me get y'all back down here. You see this blonde roux? Yeah. Yes, you do. Looks good, doesn't it? I can smell the toastiness on the flour, which lets me know it no longer has that raw flavor. Is that all I'm... All I was working toward. So now, I've got this pre-chopped garlic. I, I love this if I'm in a hurry. And I call this a weeknight shrimp creole. And I need a tablespoon of that going in. Put that over by y'all so I know I've already used that. Stir that around. Just that fast. I also love to use this when I'm in a hurry, and honestly, I use it all the time now, truly. It has onions, it has red bell pepper, green bell pepper, celery, and parsley. And you talk about time saver. Man, I love to have that around when my boys were little. And I was in a hurry doing homework and cooking and been to work all day. But anyway, we survived it, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, we did. Made us stronger, right? <laughs> okay, y'all. Into this. We're not stopping now. We're going to go with a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Y'all knew that was going in here. And we're going to put in a quarter teaspoon of thyme. That is also in that Creole seasoning we make together. So, yeah, if we had some made up, we could do that even faster, couldn't we? Just put all that in there. All right, y'all. At this point, I need all these veggies to soften. But we're going to cover this and let these cook for about five to ten minutes till they're softened. Then they look nice and softened. We will move forward. I'm going to put in one can of diced tomatoes with the juice, guys. Very, very tasty. And then I've got a big can of tomato sauce, but I only need about a half cup. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll put that in something else. Yes, I will. Like that. And let's see here. To that. I have got two cans of chicken broth, two 14 and a half ounce cans of chicken broth going in there. Okay, y'all, let this return to a boil, and I'm going to let it go about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and kind of just all come together, get to know each other before we put that shrimp in. I'll see y'all then. It came up to a boil, and that roux thickening it up really good for us. I'm going to put this lid on, and I'm going to let it cook for about 10 more minutes and really come together. In the meantime, I am going to season our shrimp. I know y'all seen I hadn't put any salt or pepper in there yet, right? Now, I did... Uh, put in salted chicken broth. So that's a little bit, but this is going in too, so we need to start flavoring our layers, all right? I know I talk about that all the time, but it's very important. Today I'm using wild caught guff shrimp and it's Tony Shashery, and this is one pound of it, and just make sure it's raw and it's detailed and de and shelled, okay? Ready to go in here to cook. 
So what we're going to do is just season this with salt and pepper while we're waiting on our um, sauce to come together. And I'm going to put on this one pound of shrimp, I am going to put a teaspoon of salt, okay? And some black pepper. John and I like lots and lots of black pepper. Any kind of pepper, really. So I won't get my hands dirty and have to leave y'all. I'm just going to stir this around with our spoon. And it's going to be ready. Ready for when this sauce is ready. Y'all hear my dogs? <laughs> we have a new little... We have a, let me turn around. They have to pick up some of these dogs so they can see what's going on around here. Wow. Our crazy house. <laughs> come, come, come here. Let me see her. Let me see that squirt biscuit. Come here. Come here, Missy. Y'all see her? Somebody dumped her off on us, what, baby, three, four weeks ago mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. Well, she was down the road from us, and our oldest son, Blake, saw her and took a picture and posted her on Facebook and told us about it. Well, it's taken, what, about three weeks. You come yeah. here with Jax. This is what y'all keep hearing them fussing. Oh, yeah. It's they Jax. Think, they think they got to rip and roll. He hated her in the beginning, but oh, he yeah. decides he loves her now. <laughs> yeah. now. Now they're best buddies. And her name is Sweet Lily, because I was feeding her on Sweet Lily and all up and down trying to get her to come up here. And she was scared to death of us, wasn't she, baby? She was terrified of us. Her was scared, scared, scared. Uh -huh. Yes, she was. And, um... Anyway, I walked to feed her, and so she followed my scent back to the house, and because I couldn't get my hands on her, John couldn't. Blake, our oldest son, tried. Everybody tried, and uh, she was sleeping outside our bedroom window. She could smell us in there. Isn't that neat? Ben said he felt left out. There's Ben. Is Ben getting left out? Well, come here, Ben. You get in there too. He said I don't play with him. He said I need in there too. He said I, I. That's not my thing. He said, he said I I'm a lover. I didn't like her to begin with. <laughs> She's he okay tolerates now. her now, She's yeah. okay now. I don't growl at her no more, so. So anyway, when John found her one morning early, the dogs were still inside with me. They were still in the bed with me, weren't they? Mm -hmm. And she was outside our window. And so <coughs> he was able to get down on his hands and knees. Oh, my goodness, Biz is picking up around here. And you finally got your little, your hands on her nose, huh? Yeah, hand on her, yeah. And you told her nobody would hurt her anymore, so. So we named her Lily, Lily. like Sweet Lily, because she was on Sweet Lily Road right here by our house. Lily, are you need to go play, baby. Oh so goodness. anyway, now they've decided they like her, and Jax loves her, and they um, she's been to the vet, she has, and she's been spayed, and all her shots. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! All right, I know you gotta go. So anyway, they play so much and they wrestle, so y'all gonna hear that in the background from here on out. I just wanted to share her with y'all. Oh, this is looking good, baby. Let me wash my hands. Y'all see, this is looking really, really good. It's been going about 10 minutes or so, and it's getting thicker. So, so good. We will add our shrimp in now. And these are thawed, and so they are not going to need but about five minutes when they come back up to a little rolling boil, and I'll cover them. And they're going to be ready. we got just a couple more minutes. Okay. Just enough time for you to say blessing, huh? Okay. Come over here with everybody. Let everybody see you, darling. Let everybody see you to say the blessing. There we go. Dear Father, I just thank you for this meal. I thank you for this time, Lord. <clears throat> Lord, please just lead God and direct us, Lord. Just be with our families people in our prayers, Lord, please be with our nation. Lord, we love you so much and thank you so much for the day. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get everybody back down here on this good shrimp creole and show you how fast good. this comes together. Does it smell good? Every time you take the lid off, it makes me Ooh. Makes makes my mouth water. <laughs> mm. Look at there. They've done. They're done. Let me show everybody our shrimp. See how they curled up? You can tell they're done. Yeah. Maybe if you would, you can go ahead and turn that timer off over there. It just has like 12 seconds left. This is how I finish it, guys. I'll squirt 
half of a lemon or half of a lime. Today I have a lime, so that's what we're doing today. What I do with my hot sauce, and of course we gotta put in some Louisiana hot sauce. You put in your favorite kind, just several dashes. And if you don't like it to be spicy at all, don't put any in, huh? Just that easy. Mm. Doesn't that look good? Man, that looks so good. Mm. <laughs> and then we have to have some you rice. Hold something? Would you hold this bowl for I me? I will hold that bowl for you. Okay, you can get a nice scoop of rice. Okay, darling, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put that rice right over here to the side, pretty as you please. Now oh, we need a spoon, isn't it? Mm. Are you singing mm. and humming over there, darling? Yes, I am. Here we go, baby. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, darling. Mm. Get you a little bite, bite. It's hot now. Mm. I gotta warn you. Make sure you get tomato and shrimp. Oh, my mouth's watering now, baby. Mmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. mm, baby, that's just wonderful. Is it wonderful? That is wonderful, darling. Mm. <laughs> we got just enough time to watch the sunset. We do. Don't we? we do. <laughs> We do. We always time that just right. Just, just right. Well, not always. Most time we stay out there working until the sun sets. Yeah, Guys, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm.